I got to play in front of people I care about deeply in a town whose revitalization has been nothing short of spectacular. The driving force was the support from the community. We were looked after and treated very professionally, and this made it easier for us to focus on soccer and the performances. Playing for CFC were some of my most enjoyable days playing the game. The people, my teammates, the club, and what it was all becoming had everyone locked in and focused. It was only a matter of time for the club to branch out in pursuing higher levels of soccer and bringing it to Chattanooga. The community buzz was exceptional. Also, a heartfelt thank you to our committed supporters, the Chattahooligans, as well as the ones who show up every game and support in their own way with their family and friends outside of Section 109. It takes a community to support a soccer club, and I hope they will continue to be part of what we are all trying to build for future generations. After the first season, I was convinced that Chattanooga had the potential to be a soccer city. You could feel the excitement in the community. They took to the club pretty quickly with such a loyal following. The Chattahooligans rivaled anything I had ever seen before in a match. As teammates, we also got to know one another better and we were having a lot of fun outside of practice and on our away game trips together. The banter got better as we developed true bonds and friendship. I specifically remember the level of fandom continued to grow as the season progressed. Specifically, signing autographs after the game for the youth made us all feel and truly appreciate the passion and love Chattanooga had for CFC in that first year. To have a beautiful crest on a great kit, merchandise for sale, team posters, Chattahooligans, we all felt like professionals and were part of something special that would continue to thrive. As the season went on, the support grew and grew with every match. It was incredible to see thousands of people show up for soccer in the South.